Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a serious situation unfolding right now in Brazil. The southern state of Rio Grande do Sul has been hit hard by severe flooding, and the impact is nothing short of catastrophic. Last week, relentless heavy rains pounded the region, leading to devastating consequences. As of now, at least 100 lives have been lost to the floods, and thousands of people have been left homeless. The scenes out there are heartbreaking, with roads washed away, bridges collapsed, and landslides wreaking havoc across the state. Imagine this, over 1.45 million people, spread across 417 cities in Rio Grande do Sul, have been affected. That's a staggering number, and it includes more than 200,000 who have been displaced from their homes. The state has almost been cut off from the rest of Brazil, with its main airport submerged underwater, potentially unusable for the next month. The Brazilian president, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, has promised to do everything in his power to help. But it's not just about promises. The situation on the ground is dire. Looting, ongoing floods, and damaged infrastructure are hampering rescue efforts. In Porto Alegre, the capital, police are now escorting volunteers on boats and jet skis to provide security and aid in evacuations. And there's more bad news on the horizon. The region is at high risk of further flooding. Weather forecasts are predicting more intense rains, particularly in the northern and eastern parts of the state. This could lead to even larger and serious floods, as described by Metsul, a weather forecasting agency. With weather conditions expected to worsen, the authorities have made a desperate call to anyone who owns any kind of boat to lend it to the emergency teams. Right now, about 15,000 soldiers, firefighters, police, and volunteers are tirelessly working to rescue people and transport aid. It's a grim situation, and the resilience of the Brazilian people is being tested like never before. But it's also a time where humanity can come together, offering support and hope to those affected. If you're looking to help, consider donating to the international relief organizations working on the ground in Rio Grande do Sul. Every bit of help counts. Thank you for tuning in and for your support. Stay safe, and let's keep the people of Brazil in our thoughts during this challenging time.